Okay, welcome vegans. Here we have, look at this classic. We've got Iran. We've got Iran, we've got Sagan. Iran, Sagan, and Nibali. The trio, watch this, bro. This is in the Tour of Oman. Watch this, watch what's gonna happen here. So Sagan, just, he just free wheels off the front on his Kennedale Super 6. Just free wheels off the front, looks back, checks what's going on. And this is, look at this, this is epic, man. This is one of the most epic finishes of pro cycling. Look at these mountains, man. This is fucking epic shit. Look at this. Look at that hairpin. Now, watch the gaps. You can see, look, they've, they've just gapped him, man. They've just rolled off the front. You're not even really pedaling because the guy's doing his shoes up. He's like, let's fucking bring it on, motherfuckers. And look at that. They just rolled off the front of the pro peloton. This is how good these guys are at descending. This is how good you have to be if you want to be a pro cyclist. You have to be willing to smash every motherfucking tooth out on the top. Look at Nabali, mate. Look at Nabali, man. This dude leans it over, mate. He doesn't give a fuck. If he smashes his head across the road like a watermelon, he's a pro rider and he understands the risks. And look at that Sagan in the aero tuck. They're probably doing like 85k an hour or something like that. Look at that. Look at the gap behind him already, man. And they're not even pushing watts. You can see how flat Sagan's face. And now he's, Sagan's going, hang on, shit. This is real deal. All right, now we've got a party. Now it's flattening out. Now it's bringing the watts up to 600 watts. So they'll be doing turns at 600 watts each. Just 600 watt, 550, 600 watts in the front. Just turning over, turning over, turning over. And look at that. That's a pretty interesting backdrop. It looks dry as fuck. You'd be parched, man. You'd be parched. The road looks smooth, doesn't it? It looks fast. So we've got Iran when he's riding for Etex on his S-Works Tarmac. Uh, Series 5 version. We've got Nabali on another S-Works. This is like the Super 6 versus the S-Works Tarmac. All come out of the same factory essentially, but they've got nice paint jobs. Um, but yeah, this is look at this. this now, this is a trio. Look, this is amazing. They just rolled off the front, man. So their descending skills put them in this position. And now they've all got flat land time trialing ability. Sagan's got that time trialing ability on the flat. He knows how to roll, roll over. Uh, Nabali can TT. Iran can TT. These are GC riders mixing up with Sagan. It's quite interesting. It's an interesting physiological um, setup here. You've got two climbers on the flat with a sprinter, who's also like a bit of a ruler. So it's a very, very unique situation here. It's quite, you got like a heavyweight with the two ultralights. Uran and Nibali, they, these guys are puny in real life. They're tiny. Look at, look at that, they're, they're, they're small compared to Sagan. Sagan looks like the schoolyard bully. He looks like a bulldog. And these guys look like two little whippets, little Italian greyhounds, like little figsies in the background almost. And Sagan's quite tall, he's got a lot more muscles than the than these two. Look how skinny in the Bali's arms are. Look, Iran's arms, man. My girlfriend's arms are bigger than that. You know? And and these guys are just cruising along. So this is gonna be interesting there because where's the marshal? Is like I mean I didn't see any marshal for that that corner. So it's pretty crazy. This is like a fucking one of those old specialized adverts where the person's breaking away from the police officers and they are flying up this off ramp here. Look at that. Iran's out of the saddle sprinting. And Sagan's just in the saddle on the front, driving it. These guys have got the draft, and Sagan's just driving it up that off-ramp. Just driving that motherfucker home deep onto that off-ramp. And he's looking at it, he's like, come on, you bitches, pull a fucking turn in his best Russian accent. And this is the yeah, Super 6. So just smooth. Look at it. Sagan's very toey, isn't he? He pedals like a toey, toey sprinter. And here's the train. They're strung out on the back. Who's chasing? Who's in that lead group? Some guys sitting on there. Still putting up a bit of pace. There's Posse Vivo. So this is a tough man's race. If Possevivo is still there, it means some climbing is involved. It's that red hub on the back. It's like a baboon's ass on the back of his hub. And Possevivo always looks uncomfortable on the bike, doesn't he? Always looks uncomfortable on the bike. It's like he's got fire ants in his nicks. And they're strung out. They're strung out like a heron at 3 a.m. on a fucking Wednesday night in Brixton. Strung out there. Here we go back. The cigar's still in the front. He does a flick of the elbow. Come on, Nabali, you soft cunt. Pull a fucking turn. Hold the wheel. Nabali's got his head down. He's rolling all over that bike. He's just like, it's like he's got fucking oil on his fucking saddle. He's just slipping all over the top of that saddle there. All lubed up like KY jelly at a Mardi Gras festival. And he's just uh, swinging all over the road here. Look at that. There's a bit of bunch. They're still strung. They really want to catch these guys. They don't want these guys to bring it home. And they're all pedaling very, very similar cadence. But I would say Sagan's cadence is, is pretty... Look at Now watch this. Remember this? Well, look at this. Watch this. Watch this. Boom. Boom. <laughs> oh, what a manoeuvre. Is that legal? I don't know, but it was pretty fucking cool. And Sagan, uh, Iran and Nabali just like, what the fuck did he just do? And look at that gap open up. 
So we can see who's stronger here. We see Nabal is really in the hurt box. His glycogen's running low, maybe he's a bit dehydrated. And Iran took the initiative there. Iran has the, the festivities still in his brain to go and get on. Nabal's like, oh, I can't do shit, man. And, and Sagan's going, come on, you bitches. Didn't you jump, jump the fucking gutter? Come on, you bitches. Jump the gutter, live a little. And uh, look at the strong out in the back of there, flying. They're getting with Team Sky. They've got one, two Sky Riders. They've got so many riders from so many teams who don't want this break to get away. So they, they get, they're doing really good effort here. They're good team unity. I think Sagan sort of fucked him up a bit by doing that gutter jump, even though it was very cool. But he, he sort of, the momentum got lost a bit there. So look at that gap. It's really closed down now. It's really closed down now. Sagan probably shouldn't have done that gap. <laughs> look, now he's, he's waiting for it. He's like, come on, you bitches. Come on, I have to fucking wait up for you even more. You GC bitches, how much do you get fucking paid, he's saying? Now he's zigzagging. No, no, maybe he's trying to shake him. He's trying to say, pull a turn. So Sagan, this, this, is, this is pretty epic. This shows how much talent Sagan's got. What year was this? This looks like it's 2013, I reckon. And look at that. Oh, they're almost on him, man. Look at that. Look at that. There's a break. There's a break. And Sagan's like, fuck this. I am out of here. Oh, they're coming at 100 meters to go. 100 meters to go. The sprints open up as an Oracle rider. And Sagan just does it easy. Easy as fuck. Iran second. Nabali got swamped. Let's have a look at that again. Didn't Nabali get swamped? Look at that cadence of Sagan. His cadence is huge. Iran's pretty matching it pretty good, but and Nibali just gives up. Iran's just like, fuck, this fucking sprinter cunt. You know? And look, done deal, Iran. There you go, that's the little epic battle with Sagan, Nibali, Iran. And uh, Sagan takes the top step to a Roman. There you go. That's how it's done. Cadence, motherfuckers. Cadence. I didn't look fatigued. Looks fr look, at that. look at how fresh he looks, man. Look how fresh he looks. Oh, no, Bali did get third. Dale Impey was that sprint. You know what I mean? There you go.